welcome to the new video in which we will learn how to draw percentage bar graph. So let's begin. The question is percentage bar graph and the data is given to you. Here division of standard 8 again A, B, C and D division. Number of students securing grade A and total number of the students are given. So let's see how to go about percentage bar graph. Here are the number given to us as we have just now said and it is on the screen. Division of standard 8, A, B and C, D. Number of students securing A grade is 45, 33, 10 and 15. Please keep in your mind that 45 student who has secured grade A is out of 60. That means 60 students are there out of that 45 have secured grade A. Similarly, out of 55, 33 have secured grade A. Out of 40, 10 have secured grade A in C division. Similarly, from D division we have 75 students and out of which 15 have secured A grade. All these are the numbers. But as the name indicate, it is percentage bar graph. So we need to calculate percentage. So let's begin. See, percent of A grade student of division A, how will you calculate? 45 upon 60. 45 student who has secured A grade and total number of the student in a division is 60. So 45 out of 60 means 45 upon 60 into 100 will give you 75 percent. So let's go in the A division. Similarly, we have second one 33 upon 55 into 100 will give you 60 percent. Third one 10 out of 40 multiply by 100 will give you 25 and the fourth one 15 out of 75 into 100 is 20. So in all we have done first stage of percentage bar graph means we have calculated the percentage. Okay now let's go for drawing the graph. We have got a graph paper. We will going to take dark line as a horizontal one x axis and y axis. Then we will going to name them up and down and we will going to write down scale. We are taking 1 centimeter equals to 10 percent because we are dealing with the percent sign. Okay, so the marking on x axis, sorry y axis here taking 1 centimeter. So first we are doing marking. We will going to do it for 10 divisions. So now we will go for horizontal one here as for the availability you can keep the gap but whatever gap you are keeping it should be it should be same on x axis. So I have taken 2 centimeter you all can also take 2 centimeter or 3 centimeter depends on uh, availability. Now here on x axis we are taking division and on y axis we are taking percentage of student. So naming of the points A division, B division, C division, D division and E division if any. Then on Y axis 10 percent, 20 percent, 30 percent, 40 percent, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So we have got all 100 marking there. Okay. Now we will going to start plotting. As you know percent means total will be 100. So every bar will be of 100. So here is the bar which is indicating 100. Can you see that 100 there? Yeah. Out of which 75 percent have got grade A. So that has to be written in the key or not. See grade A. The remaining is other grade. Clear? Similarly, we can go for B division again 100 percent out of which 60 have got A grade. Then C division again 100 percent 
then we have 25 percent and d we have again 100 percent student out of which only 20 percent have got grade a so you can see that percentage bar graph means the height of the bar will be 100 only because that will indicate percentage out of which the orange one is indicating the percentage of student who have got a grade clear for watching it hope you have liked it while drawing please watch the video again and again pause if you need it and do not forget to hear the audio and try to see the video till the end see you with the next video do not forget to subscribe it and share with your friends